Hello, welcome back to another episode of Kerbal Space Program, where, as you will notice, not just in real life there has been a rocket accident, but also with this game. When we left off during the last episode you have seen, we were about to land the second group of our moon tourists. And then I went on and recorded another episode, and something or other, I did something wrong with OBS and I have perfectly nice audio, but no video for that. So I will have to brief you on what happened there. And as you can see, something went wrong there. In fact, well, I landed these tourists and the mission didn't complete the contract. And what I figure or what I believe has happened is that um, since I sent those four tourists in groups of two, the game didn't recognize that as them having completed the contract. So what I ended up doing was uh, modifying one of our of the solar orbit training vessels to uh, not go to solar orbit but have another crew capsule uh, so that I can have a pilot and four tourists in total and then built the rocket and sent them off to the moon. Also in the during that episode the um, the Minmus uh, lander resupply tourist thingy uh, arrived at Minmus, docked with the station, dropped off the supplies for the lander, the science modules, the new ones, went on to land on Minmus and is now on the way back uh, to Kerbin already. So that's what you see here, and that's pretty much the last thing I th believe what happened during the um, episode I recorded. Oh, and there has been some orbit, so debris cleaning. Let's see how much of that is left. But basically, I yeah, we lost a little bit of footage, but uh, not a big deal. We are down to 18 uh, pieces of debris now. Um, not all of which is in low Kerbin orbit, but let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 units still left there. And 3 are in various other orbits. One is in this uh, medium uh, Kerbin orbit. I'm pretty sure one or two are around Minmos. So, yeah. Let's ignore that for the moment. And um, there's still 15 units left. This is the degree debris cleaning ship which has a maneuver node planned for in about a day and a little I uh, left some more time this was probably because phasing was a little diff difficult and uh, I would say we just go ahead with uh, the moon tourist second attempt which this time are on a free return trajectory just well not exactly free return because of the requirement to go below 100 kilometers, that's making this a little difficult. You'll have to perform a minor burn there, but they're on something very similar to a free return trajectory. So let's just fast forward there and then you will also see the vessel, the modifications I made to just uh, be able to fit all of these tourists. They should now be uh, approaching their moon periapsis where we actually need a kick burn so a boost burn not a retro burn to uh, bring them back into a proper orbit so without the boost burn they would um, end up on this trajectory here being uh, pulled tightly around the moon because of the low uh, periapsis at about 90 kilometers and then they would end up in a rather high orbit whereas with a small boost burn they will enter something more like a minimus return trajectory um, so they will have higher speed on re-entry but uh, basically they will be back at Kerbin in only three hours well that's quick Let's execute this and we might actually have a uh, conflict there with some of the other things. Well, at least this one will be far enough away 
So this is in 3 hours 30 minutes. Yes, that is indeed a conflict with solar orbit training. Maybe I will do something about that actually. Hmm. Should we try to change this maneuver note? Let's first check that they now have completed the uh, bye bye part of the contract. So let's get rid of this. Open this. Yes, we only need to recover them now. So fly by sorted all of them together. That confirms what I assumed was going wrong there. Now let's see. Alternatively, if you end up there, you could perform a burn there. Less optimal, but we have plenty of delta V. And so that we change our timing here. Or I think I will find a way how to delay this once we are. Hmm. Basically, what I need to achieve is get this a little lower. So if we do not execute this node right now, let's remember this. Um, change this a little bit. Like to see the periapsis. Yep, it's this one. So let's see if we... Okay, this brings us just lower or faster there. That's not ideal, so how about we go this way? That also doesn't change much. Okay, let's restore. What else can we do? Oh, I wanted radial, of course. I want it. Okay. Let's see. We reduce this by about 10, 20, and now bring this in a little bit. Yes, this will help us change this timing. So I will go down another 10 here. And now bring this one in. Periapsis down to uh, a very sedate 39 kilometers. As you can see, apoapsis is also quite a bit lower. Um, that should help you help us. We can try to get one or two more out of this. Not so much. 39 kilometers and something that should be okay. And we have now 42 minutes, so we gain 12 minutes or so. That's enough to deal with this solar orbit training mission. Well then, execute this node, please, immediately. And we need to arm because we are spending now a little bit more delta V here. And unfortunately, we'll probably be leaving a uh, piece of debris there. Unless I transfer some fuel. I... Oh, come on, MacJap. Okay. SAS on from the rest of this burn. And now let's check where's our periapsis. We want this to be down at about 39. Or we could even go a little lower just to be sure that all of this deorbits. Bring back our fuel into the top tank. While we align retrograde. Okay, and now ditch the stage. This will hopefully bring the stage down below 39 kilometers and we will accelerate a small bit back up. That's excellent, 39 kilometers. So this crew will uh, be returning just fine and we still have 900 meters per second. So that means, uh, let's see. And I have a... no, I don't. 
rid of this node and we need something like a re-entry plan about here. I don't care where it is, thereabouts, good. We'll be just after the uh, solar orbit training stuff. It was a little unfortunate that uh, the mission didn't count when uh, you sent them not as one big group, so that's also something to learn. But I guess it's part of the fun of it, right? What do we actually build here? Is, oh yeah, okay. Well then. Uh, this node we don't need, and the solar orbit training we can take care of right now. Next. And I'm purposely not talking too much about the uh, Soyuz issue because we will have to see what the investigation yields and what the results of that are or will be. It's a good reminder that uh, even today when uh, it sometimes appears that uh, launching rockets is just uh, very, very uh, everyday business, it actually isn't. Okay, let's see. Uh, it's still a little bit to go. And we will just uh, walk to this uh, transition. We are still in Kerbin SOI, but we should be changing any moment now. Oh, one and a half minutes, okay. All right, it's after the uh, reminder. Much longer to go, that's 48 seconds, okay. First hold now exactly. So let's lean into the maneuver node. Uh, go for the node. Just so we are already aligned. And now let's get the crew back out because they need their brief visits into solar orbit. Let's start on top here, Nenand. Hello there. Do we need a report? Just something. I don't know. Yeah. Dump experiment. Next up, Barbon, EVA. And go back. Linger, EVA. We'll go back. And New Week, last one. Let's check that they all received this. So they, number one, number two, Sun Orbit EVA. Yes, Sun Orbit EVA. And you as well. Hopefully, it will also show up here. Well, time to go for the retro burn and um, this time I will not mess around with fuel. We will just army this. As always on these missions, the uh, upper stage there will stay in uh, solar orbit and uh, I am inclined to just delete these because they are far away from anything they could damage in the future. Oh yeah, on the uh, moon tourist thing I basically replaced this bigger crew module or orbital module and a couple of these parts and just put two of the smaller circular um, crew cans, uh, single crew cans here and uh, kept all the parachutes. So we should be okay for re-entry. I still don't know why KSP does this sound issue, but uh, well, all I want to see is the periapsis here. And I believe I discussed this, I intentionally set the periapsis to, uh, oh hello moon there, to something higher than uh, 
the usual re-entry to simplify the re-entry burn. Much do we have here? 11 days, 5 hours. Okay, so we definitely need to be a little faster than this. Even more moon encounters, which will not happen anymore. Okay, just about on the mark here. Looks like a perfect burn to me. And we will be down there soon enough with a uh, with a relatively slow uh, return trajectory. 11 days is a lot more than I usually have with 9 days or thereabouts. But yeah, I'm just trying to uh, figure out better ways there. And also, of course, it will be probably one of the last ones. So let's remember this re entry. Yes. And maybe also that will be a re entry. Well, we don't need to mark this anymore. Okay. Uh, let's hop back to the space center so we can take of this take care of this re-entry. I'm not sure whether I discussed the um, any plans for building a new rocket in the last episode that you got to see. Um, since we have been using this launcher for so long, I'm still trying to think of what to do next. The bigger capsules that we have obviously do not bring more more crew capacity so maybe we will instead just build a cargo rocket but we definitely need to build something bigger i mean it's just weird to uh, keep using this uh, very old rocket all the time now let me check the engine here we have a reasonably powerful one good I was worried it would have been one of the uh, tiny ones. Oh yes, I started with the previous generation of solar orbit vessels. So let's see, 53 seconds, that's 10 minutes, and hereabouts is 8 minutes, so that's a lot of time. Can probably go about here easily, okay. And we have 910 meters, so let's try to ask for a 39 kilometer periapsis and 300, I don't know, that's 850, maybe we can actually go for 200 then, 947, so that's not happening, okay, that's okay. And it doesn't look like we will, will be landing close to KSC, so it doesn't matter whether we fine-tune this. So let's just go with that burn, and let's see where we get. Execute this next node. Yeah, as you can see, I removed the docking port because there was really no benefit for having it. It just costs 800 something credits, the two roundish capsules, which are <laughs> larger than the crew capsule, but, well, Antares models. These are orbital modules technically, so not really rated for re-entry, but in this space program, you have to, uh, I could have just used another one of these, of course. And we even get the destruction notice, excellent. So our maneuver to bring this uh, stage in a lower periapsis worked and helped to reduce um, orbital debris automatically. I mean, even if it had been in a 39 kilometer orbit, we could have just discarded it, but it's much nicer if it discards automatically.
Well, that's good enough. We are at 38.9 kilometers, 247, that's good. Let's keep just regular retrograde and arm the parachutes. And hopefully bring back, back these tourists with admission completion this time. That was not the camera, this is the camera I want. Oh, <laughs> time acceleration. Better. And we still have 2400 meters per second, so well, this engine has a better rating than the other one. Let's see whether it shields enough of this tank to uh, not blow up the tank. Six pan girl remaining fuel like that. Or even the remaining RCS fuel if you want. No reason carrying it around. The RCS ports are mildly heating up, but they should be fine, hopefully. In any case, let's blow up the remaining fuel. Still running at uh, 230 seconds ISP, so we are obviously still high enough in the atmosphere for this to work. I wish I could use time acceleration, well I probably could, but let's not risk it. A few left. And this shape is just so aerodynamic. We are still above 2300 meters per second. Just barely decelerating. Even with all the RCS. Which isn't giving is not giving a lot of TWR, but still. didn't do much, but at least we got rid of it. Now, heating up a lot more. But I think we are low enough in the atmosphere that it will not... It will start decelerating a bit more soon. Let's see, what does it tell us about our current impact point? Yeah, nicely in the water, that's good. With such a tall vessel, it's... Uh, probably preferable to land in the water and not on land. And that's the seating arrangements. <laughs> Obviously these are slightly in the wrong rotation. 
Opel. Let's pick back normal view. 2000 meters per second and 30 kilometers up. That's quite far. Very long descent for these tourists. Temperature still rising. That's not good. This might even give some speed records for beakers because of how fast uh, she's been below 30 clicks. We'll see. Or maybe it tells me here already. Let's see. Yeah, that's a Mach 4 ribbon. That's not a lot. A little bit of G4s. May actually be the first one to have the passenger transport for. Oh well, let's see. I just hope we slow down enough uh, that we don't rip any parachutes. Still going Mach 2. Yeah, that one in blue, okay. Let's actually break a little more. Because we need to be below Mach 1 for these to hold. So the downside is that now we don't have a parachute on top here, which means we might end up toppling. Because the parachutes obviously are mounted below our current um, center of mass, which is here. Let's see. At least these parachutes are still well enough to slow us down sufficiently. But I dare not wiggle the craft right now. Recovered. Well then. Welcome back, tourists. Let's see whether you accept this flight now. Recovered from a flyby. It's actually the first time we return from a simple flyby. Long ways away from KSC, no, well, very little of value returned, and a lot of crew members returned. And since they have already been in orbit around the moon, none of them get any more experience except beakers. Ouch. I... well, let's see. You got a splashdown ribbon and a fuel landing ribbon. Let's quickly have a look at beakers. Beakers, here. Oh, you still need the orbit of the moon. Oh, well. Uh, 
that's one experience point missing. Oh well, we will see. We have plenty of pilots and still plenty of opportunities to go into orbit around Moon. But at least this time we get the uh, contract completion and realistically speaking this amount of uh, reward is well enough to launch these tourists a couple of times. Now we could go ahead with this thing or maybe have a look at the Minmo station. Well, refitting the Minmus lander will take a long time and I won't bore you with this uh, Kerbin orbit debris cleaning maneuver, so um, let's say um, I will end the episode here. Thank you for joining me on this one. Hopefully this one will render okay. Um, there has also been some weirdness with YouTube recently. Not sure whether you noticed, but one of the previous episodes has more likes than views. So YouTube view, view counting is apparently broken for me right now. So uh, let me know if you actually watch this, because I cannot rely on the YouTube counters. But with that, I would like to thank you again for watching. And uh, have a nice day. Hopefully see you in the next one. Bye bye.